A proper way to perform a hip hinge squat is to imagine that you have a rod stretching from the back of your head down your thorax to your sacrum that you cannot come off of. And you also can imagine that you're going to sit in a chair and then you change your mind and rise up from sitting in the chair. So Heather, go ahead and inhale, leading with your hips. You pretend you're gonna sit in a chair and then on exhale, engage pelvic floor muscle and transversus to rise up out of the chair. Again, inhale and you're lowering into the squat, really using those glutes, good. And exhale, pelvic floor muscle and transversus engagement should lead that movement. Again, inhale, pretend you're gonna sit in a chair, and exhale, engaging pelvic floor muscle and transversus to rise up out of the chair. A couple other things to think of, make sure that your knees don't buckle inwards and that the knees don't go past the toes when you're doing your squats. Great job, Heather.